Hey, how's it going? It's Brennan here. Um, I just want to say that the singularity has made the media very sick. Uh, George Washington, a dollar bill and a United States quarter. Okay, the most famous person in America. Okay, if you've ever looked at a dollar, unless if you're blind, um, or you you wish people, you know. Can't, you couldn't use this phone if you were blind, that's for sure, because it has only one button. Just keep touching it. Oh, yes. You know, <laughs> keep touching it. Um, so this is the equation, okay? By the time George Washington is 27, it should be utterly apparent that this is a fundamental reality. Okay, um, he's got a little sister. He's got a big brother. He's got a strong mother. He grows up in a diverse community, and he's messing up. He's struggling. Okay, he doesn't have the traditional education that he's supposed to get. Okay, the spaceship is supposed to come down. He, he calls them up. He says, "Hello, I'd like a, a spaceship to come and get me. I'm going to save the world, or you know, there's going to be tragedies if you do not respond. If you do not actually uh, send one of your ships." Or your nice ones with some beautiful women, intelligent, beautiful women. If you, unless if you're, you know, if you think slavery is bad, then please try love and tech, te love of technology. If you actually care about humanity and civilization and prosperity, okay, and not just some third world slave delusion of poverty. And, you know, if you're not pushing poverty as a politically correct, uh, derangement, okay, this is, this is this reality, and I have called the media five years ago, and I told, you know, I told the mainstream media that, hey, look, there's money out there with my name on it, um, <clears throat> and there is a series of events, starting with George Washington, okay, who nobody cares about, uh, because he's got a little sister, a big brother, Strong mother, diverse community, you go around and around, and you see this again and again, and the media is destroying the world by avoiding this equation, this fundamental equation, okay, very utterly, it's, it's war, okay, this is, and it's the environment, and it's slavery, it's all these horrible things, and I make it utterly clear, scientifically quantified. You know, and, and I struggled to find communication. I, you know, I stuck with this stupid thing. I, my laptop got stolen by the one person who I told the media is a bad guy. Okay, and, and that's who stole it. Um, and it's like a helicopter hovering over my house the day before there's chemical weapons being used in the Middle East, being dropped on some, I'd say perverted poverty because population unqualified is um, is going to use technology the wrong way and it's going to cause disaster. Okay, like the Great War uh, in Europe, World War One and World War Two. But you you can't go for World War Two without talking about World War One. Fundamentally, that what's if you can't count, you know, don't do it. Don't don't play that game because you're just going to wreck the world even worse by denying the George Washington, the Kurt Cobain, chemical weapons, which, you know, t which one is worse, huh? What do you think? Uh, Jim Morrison or, you know, on, you know, Vietnam War, everyone just <coughs> drugged themselves. Um, so this is fundamental. Uh, and I want uh, Donald Trump uh, to uh, accommodate uh, me with the FBI, okay, um, telephones I think are, are lame, I'd much rather talk in person, and I think the United Nations, and I think San Francisco is a great place to be accommodating, I want to be accommodating a host, I want to be transparent and balanced, Okay, but I, would, I don't want to see these wars happening and the environment being destroyed because people are fundamentally against George Washington and essentially against God. Okay, they're, they're sort of crazy. That's what you have horrible wars when you simply avoid this ultimate truth. 
Um, now I'm, I keep on struggling for this one. Uh, during World War One, uh, Hollywood again, the media, the guys with the the cameras and the integrity to to go for it, what it, good or bad, the integrity to do evil, perhaps. Um, my ear looks purple, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it is. Um, so they choose guys the opposite of George Washington who do not have any family whatsoever. No mother, no father, no family, no responsibility. This is what they choose. Charlie Chaplin starts making movies and the war begins almost immediately, almost at the exact same time. It's like all the technology is there. The uh, airplanes, uh, automobiles, uh, telegraphs, and the camera and the cinema so you could transport your cinema all over the world and you could communicate fully, but they were, um, you know, this is the singularity where they simply avoid responsibility. They avoid uh, real information. Okay, and what happens is you have real wars instead of real communication. That's the reality, and Donald Trump, please, um, if I call the FBI, I want... I don't want to hear someone questioning my my uh, my credibility. If you know that's 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 like them dropping bombs on uh, at schools. That's like school shootings happening. That's about the, the equivalent of that. Okay, and you know we want to make a peaceful uh, um, victory. Okay, so Donald Trump, please organize something with the FBI. And I think the United Nations, and I think that's in San Francisco, and I think the Russians are our friends, okay? I think we need world peace. I think Iran needs a lot of love, the whole Middle East, but we do not need to have an endless terrorism game. It is really not the objective. I have the solution and the passion to solve all the world's problems, okay? I really do. I, yes, I am laying down. I need help, okay? But um, I will do it.